Hello everyone, it's Shannon Rose and today I'm going to be talking about what I think the number one thing is that really screwed me up from doing porn and being in the adult entertainment industry. <laughs> Now, I've always talked about doing porn and all these different things, kind of like not a positive light, but like more of like an entertaining type of way, you know, with like a lot of my past story times, cause they are entertaining, but there are obviously pros and cons. I've talked about the pros. I said, you know, like it gave me a really good life at the time in certain ways. Like I got to travel and meet a lot of very wealthy people and learn a lot from them and, you know, live this like luxurious lifestyle because of like all the money I made and, you know, got to like party and have fun and meet celebrities like there was a lot of like pros to doing porn but there were obviously a lot of cons and I think one of the biggest cons was that I am like 90% sure that doing porn and getting the really bad STD that I got which was chlamydia that was left untreated for a very long time even though I had gotten tested for it like when I was feeling really sick I could barely walk I was so so sick and I remember like going to my gynecologist and and he was like, yeah, no, you're fine. And then like, I had to go back like a few days later because I was like, listen, something's really not right. Like down there, my stomach is killing me. Like I was so sick and I had no idea like what was going on with me. I really didn't. And I remember being transferred from the gynecologist into an ambulance. That was the first time I'd ever almost passed out. When I got up, they had to give me like smelling salts. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those before, but like in a lot of doctor's offices, they have this little like white packet thing. It almost looks like a salt packet, like the little ones, like taped to the wall. Those are called smelling salts and they're there in case somebody starts to pass out because they rip it open and they like shake it under your nose and it makes you wake up. And they had to use that on me because like I literally was about to like pass out and faint. Got me on a stretcher, got me over to the emergency room and I just remember the emergency room doctor doing an exam down there and putting a q-tip in and pulling it out and it literally when it came out looked like there was just like a huge thing of snot coming. I mean it was so gross. And he just looked at me and said, this is one of the worst cases of chlamydia I've ever seen and this is most likely going to impact you or it can impact you having kids in the future now when he said this I remember him telling me this obviously but like didn't even fucking dawn on me right because at that time I was like I'm not having fucking kids right now I don't really care you know and like I also thought like I'm not gonna live to see past 25 like let alone have kids <laughs> like who the fuck is gonna marry a porn star and want to have kids with me you know what I mean like that was my mentality at the time so that was the last thing I was thinking of I was so pissed at the time that I had chlamydia. I had been tested because in porn you get tested for three main things is HIV, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. Those are like the three main things. Wait, was it gonorrhea that I had? I'm sorry. I didn't have chlamydia. It was gonorrhea. <laughs> and my fucking brain is really foggy. Sorry guys. And I was really pissed because I knew who I got it from because I remember the guy calling me and saying like, oh, like I tested positive for gonorrhea. And so you should go get the shot just to be on the safe side. And I remember like, thinking like, oh, I just got tested and I'm totally fine. So I don't need to do that. But like, thanks in advance. And I remember cause the girl smelled so bad when we were doing that scene, I had to literally, like I was about to throw up, it was so bad. And I had to go take her to the bathroom and like pull her aside privately and just like, hey, could you please douche? Because you really smelled bad down there. I don't know like a nicer way of saying it. And she was just like, oh yeah, okay, no problem. But like she faked her test. And the worst part is I never got paid for that scene. They like screwed me over like that direct and I had taken that job on my own without my agent. It was like big learning lesson for me. But yeah, I got, I keep wanting to say chlamydia. Was it chlamydia or gonorrhea? I'm pretty sure it was gonorrhea. <laughs> my brain is really broken. But yeah, I got it really, really bad. I mean, like I was hospitalized. I was on IV antibiotics. I remember like I was so ashamed that I didn't want to tell anybody that I was in the hospital. The only person I told was my roommate at the time because obviously I lived there and he was like, where the fuck are you? Like you haven't been home in days. And I was like, I'm really embarrassed to say this, but I'm in the hospital. I tested positive for gonorrhea. It's really really bad and like I was in so much pain and I remember the nurses treating me so poorly like they would like come in to give me like a Toradol shot or like some sort of pain medicine shot because I was in so much pain and like they were just like so mean about it and I felt like they were talking about me like in the hallways and you know it was just like a very shameful horrible thing to go through not just like all the pain I was in but like because I really think that that is the reason that I am infertile now and can't have kids is because of like all the scar tissue and damage it caused while it was being left untreated 
lasted for so long. It really damaged my reproductive system in there. And even now, like I have endometriosis also. So like that could be also another contributing factor, which they've had to like go in three times now to remove surgically. And it just comes back worse and worse every time. And so now I'm like, fuck it. I'm not doing another surgery because it just gets worse after. But like, I'm like I said, 90% sure that I became infertile after getting that really bad STD from doing porn. And I think this because I was able to get pregnant really easily before then because I had gotten pregnant with boyfriends in the past and never had issues before. And then ever since then, I'd never gotten pregnant like accidentally or just like even on purpose. So yeah, I think that's the one thing that screwed me up the most from doing porn is because not only did it like screw me up mentally, but also physically. I'm like forever scarred literally from doing porn and that will affect me for the rest of my life. And it really sucks. So yeah, I mean, even when you're trying to be really careful and you're getting tested and all these different things like shit could still happen you know just like with getting pregnant you could take birth control and do all these different things people still get pregnant even on birth control so you know shit happens but I feel like everything happens for a reason and that's what keeps me like positive and going every day is like yeah it really sucks but maybe that happened to me so that now I could share my story and hopefully help other people from preventing the same mistakes that I made when I was younger and I don't know <laughs> that's my hope at least <laughs> so it makes me feel better and sleep better at night but anyway thanks for being here i am sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in my next video Mwah.